So what we're going to do here is we are going to um, rotate uh, the triangle um, ABC and we're going to rotate that 180 degrees. Now we don't need to write clockwise or anti-clockwise because it's the same 180 degrees whether you go this way or this way you get the same uh, final answer. Okay, so the way that I like to do this is to um, trace my own axes as the one that's in the diagram. So I get my tracing paper and I put some marks on here so that I can recreate the axes on the tracing paper. Now you don't need to actually draw the whole axes out. Um, I will in this case just to make it clear. So there we go, it's one, axi, one axis, and this is the second axis. Now you can just get away with just doing these dashes. I'm gonna do it like this, just to make it a bit clearer. Okay, so now I can put this smack bang on the original axis. So you can see there, it's pretty darn close. Now I can just plot each of the points that I'm gonna move, so that's A, that's B, and I like to write them down, okay, next to the marks, and then I'm gonna turn it 80. A 180, sorry. So I'm going to, let's say I, I nominate this as my chief axis. When it gets to here, it's 90. When I move it to here, I've turned it 180 degrees. So I turn it like this. All the points, see, this was here. It's now lining up with this axis, so that's 90 degrees. And when I go to here, it'll be another 90 degrees. So let's just turn that round, turn it round, round, round. And now you can see it's 90. So I'm just going to line everything up perfectly. And now I can see where each of these points has ended up, and I'll just take their coordinates. So A equals, it'll be 5 minus 4, like that. I can do B, which is 2 minus 4, so B is 2 minus 4, and C is 2 minus 2 like that. So now I've done all that, can take my tracing paper away, don't need it, and now I can just plot these points. So A is 5 minus 4, which is here, okay, B is 2 minus 4, so 2 minus 4 is here, and C is 2 minus 2, which is here. So now I know where these points are going, I can actually put the names of each point in, so this is going to be A dash, uh, 2 minus 4 is B dash, that's how we label the image, and C dash is here. Now all I need to do, get my ruler and join up each of these points, and I will have created the image of triangle A, B, and C. Done.